Hello there. Today I would like to talk about using the Yoshimi multi in Ardor. So um, Yoshimi, if you don't know about it already, it's a software synthesizer that is available in Linux only at this moment. Um, but Yoshimi itself is actually a fork from Zine, and Zine is available for other platforms as well. Okay, well, it took me a while for myself to figure how things fit together here because I couldn't find any tutorial. So hopefully this video can help somebody out there. Okay, so first, Yoshimi, um, to use it, then you need to open Ardor first, obviously. And, and then we want to activate Yoshimi here. First, go to session and add a, add a MIDI bus. Okay. So, this. so add a MIDI bus. Okay. And <clears throat> I'm just going to call it Yoshimi. And instrument. We choose Yoshimi Malta here. Okay. Add and close. And just accept the default. And then it will start adding tracks here. Okay, there we are. We have Yoshimi and 16 other tracks here. Okay, we don't need all of these details right now, so we can just right click here and hide. Okay, by the way, in order, if you want to unhide something, then you have to go here to the right. Oh, let's make it maximize. Okay. Uh, well, I don't have it right now, so I need to activate that as well. So go to View, Show Editor List. Now you have it here. You can just drag this out. And here you have the Visibility column. Here you can show what was hidden before. And then anything that you need. But, well, we don't need any of them right now, so I just want to keep them hidden. And also I don't need this. So just hide them again, because we need to really, really save the screen real estate here. Okay, so we have Yoshimi. So let's open that. Now this is your default Yoshimi window, main window. And go to Mixer Panel. And for this tutorial, I'm just going to activate two channels. So I have one channel, two channels. Okay, close it. And let's set some sound. So we'll go to this part one. I'm just going to choose the presets. If you want to create your own sound, you can go here to edit. And you have three different scenes. So we can talk about that later if you need that. Um, but for this moment, I'm just going to choose uh, the default sound, um, the preset sound. I mean. Okay, go to anything I'm just going to select a block block one okay and for the second part let's set this to well definitely I will need a bass right to, to make any music so okay one bass one block that should work okay we should be able to create something now okay so part one it's block part two is base. Good. Okay, we can close Yoshimi. All right, now we need to add the MIDI track to actually send the notes to Yoshimi. So again, the way to do it, same thing. Go to session, want to add. Now instead of MIDI bus, we want to add a MIDI track here. Okay, MIDI track, and I'm just going to call my first one block. Okay. And for the instrument, instead of Yoshimi Multi, we don't want to have multiple instances of Yoshimi Multi. That will definitely kill your CPU. So go to select none. We don't need any synthesizer for this one. 
Okay, so we have this block. And let's add another one. Okay, I'm going to try. Okay. And this one I'm just going to call base and still instrument none. And then close. There we have it. Okay, now we start, we can just drag this down and now we have the piano roll here. Of course there is no sound at this moment because there is no sense for this track. So we need to connect this MIDI track to Yoshimi. Okay, so the way to do it, go here, this is the output. The output we select Yoshimi in. Okay, now we have sound. <laughs> Okay, for the bass, do the same thing, like this, and you shimmy in. Of course, at this moment, they will have the same sound, because both of them are connected to channel 1 of Yoshimi. So we need to change this. Okay, so right-click on the empty space, and go to Channel Selector. Use a single channel. Well, okay. This one is channel 1, that's good. And go for the base, do the same thing, right click, channel selector, and go to channel 2. That's good. Now we have bass. Of course, it doesn't sound like a bass because it's too high. So what you need to do is, you know, want to scroll this down with your middle mouse button. Okay, maybe around C2, that should give you a bass. Nice space. Okay, now we can just draw something. We can activate the snap here and draw something. Let's make a well four bar something boring. That's okay. Bum bum bum. Uh, let's do this. By the way, for, for zoom in, you you uh, hold down control and and then you use your middle mouse button, or you can use this. Uh, this is the zooming. This is for panning. Control, zoom, shift. Okay, nothing. <laughs> oh, okay, whatever. And connect it this now. Okay, there it is. Shift is uh, panning here, and if you don't press anything, just it will go up and down. But apparently, it's not. It doesn't work when you have the pencil here. Instead, it will actually change the velocity. Now let's put this back to the default 64. Okay, so we can have. Okay, we have something. Okay, let's add notes. Okay, anything. This is a tutorial, so could be something sucks. Okay, that should give you our bass line. Good, now let's add our melody. Ooh. Okay, dum -dum.
Okay, now we have something looking simple. And now I see we want to play around with the sound. It's a good idea that we loop this so we can keep on hearing what we want to hear. So the way to loop for the first time, well, it might be not that obvious in order. So go here to the range mode and select the range, be like this, and right click here and select loop range. That's it. Well, to start and stop, you can use this space. Okay. And this one, this arrow, you can just select here anywhere. If you want to loop, stop here and select this loop. It will run here forever. Okay, which is good. Okay, now we want to. We already route this two meter tracks to Yoshimi. Okay, now you can use Yoshimi or any other synth in order with this strategy. Well, I think that's the normal way to do it because you. Well, if you have a very powerful computer, maybe you can run one synth for one track, but it's much easier for the computer, not for you. <laughs> it's easier for the computer if we have one, uh, multiple tracks here all connected to one synth. Now, the great thing about this is we can actually set Yoshimi to send the output of each channel to another track, audio track now, and so we can apply effects. Because, well, Yoshimi itself, if we, if we apply uh, effects here, it will affect every single track. So that's not really what we want. Sometimes we just want effect on one channel only. And the way to do it, we want to root, now we want to root Yoshimi to an audio bus okay so again now we want to add uh now instead of audio track we want audio bus so we did again yoshimi is a midi bus this notes that we draw they are midi tracks and now for the effects we want to add audio bus here I'm just going to call this the plug effect. Okay, and don't forget to choose configuration to stereo. Okay, because well, otherwise you cannot get the panning and all this effect from Yoshimi. Okay, I can close. Now we have plug effect. Okay, I want to put this underneath plug, so the way to do it, select this and control up on your keyboard. Okay, there it is. Now, you want to make sure that Yoshimi send this to this plug effect bus. The way to do it, go to mixer panel again. And now, instead of main here, Set to part. Okay, let's do it again for the base. Okay. There you are. And we are done with Yoshimi. And then for the still in this track, we want to change this output. Go to routing grid. And now as you can see here for the bus and not the let's go to the tracks first okay so we can see here every single track connected to yoshimi out we want to change this so let's let's turn this on so it's just supposed to be here in the track one let's turn this off okay so now we have only the base so we want to root that down here, just scroll down. Okay, now we have this. Okay, go to 
all. I'm sorry, we will we don't do it there. <laughs> we go to all your buses here. Go to the bus and remember it was three and four. So other bus three and four go to block effect. Now we have this again. Okay, so this block effect here. By the way, if there is no sound, then you may want to select this to make sure it's selected to master in. Okay, now that means we can start adding effects for the Yoshimi. Okay, well, well let's try one effect for to the for just for the sake of demonstration and we can call it a day. Okay, I click here, let's say new plugin by creator. Let's go to this Cough Studio Gear. It's a very good set of uh, effects here. Let's add mm, maybe. We can choose anything, right? <laughs> I want to try something. Okay, well, let's let that let, let be a delay here. Same thing with the bass and everything else, but you get the idea of how to start using Yoshimi and Arden. Okay, ho hopefully you find this video ho um, helpful for you. So see you again sometime. Okay, you can click subscribe if you like.